Hi, thanks for tuning into our YouTube channel. My name is Shadi Zayer and I am a pre-sales engineer for Microfocus. In this video, we'll be talking about how you can get started with using our identity governance solution as a result of being an existing identity management customer or new identity management customer. These are all features that you can start utilizing today as a part of your implementation without having to pay for the full-blown identity governance license. So the agenda for this presentation is really to cover what governance is, as well as a few features that you can start utilizing. So to introduce governance, the main goal is to really provide transparency around what is usually complex. The identities in your environment or users, the groups that the identities would usually be members of, as well as the permissions which enable your identities to take action in those downstream systems. Really what the goal is, is to enable the business to make decisions uh, that determine whether a user has too much access, needs to get access revoked, or granted additional access. One of the ways that we do that is we can provide a translation layer around what is usually very convoluted. So sometimes we run into permissions in downstream systems that have abbreviations, have numbers, and things like that in them. As a part of bringing in the permissions into the identity governance solution, we can curate them and make them much easier to understand. Of course, in order to do that, we have to collect and review entitlement data across all of the applications in your enterprise and pull them into the environment. So just a level set, if you're an existing identity management customer, you already may be familiar with this architecture. If you're a new identity management customer, just to add a you know quick few points here, our solution consists of the Identity Vault, which is the meta directory. It sits in the middle of all the different applications in your environment. And then we have bi-directional event-driven drivers for automated provisioning. Usually what we see is a source of authority, whether that's an HR system or a database, sits on a JDBC collector or a driver. We have an Active Directory, and then you can have any multitude of these other drivers, things like Office 365, ServiceNow, Workday, Google, and others. Now, the governance side is a little bit different because we have one-way collectors to pull in information into the entitlement catalog. So the meta directory in this case is the entitlement catalog, and that's kind of your single pane of glass of all governance-related data. Now, what really differentiates us from the rest of the market is when you combine both our identity vault and the entitlement catalog from identity governance, you can really put them together very easily by utilizing what is known as the IGA driver. Now, it, this makes it much easier to get up and going with our identity governance solution as opposed to our competitors on the market. The way that we do this is you can get started with using your existing identity vault information. We pull it in via the IGA driver and immediately populate the entitlement catalog. That means you can take advantage of all the hard work and plumbing you've already invested in with your identity management solution and start utilizing governance related features. These are just some of the out of the box collectors that we offer. You can also customize these, build your own, but really the collectors are lightweight and um, ways of importing or collecting data into the governance solution. They're not as heavy as a driver, and as a result, they're much easier to configure and can all be done through with the graphic and intuitive interface of identity governance. So the first feature that you can utilize in identity governance that we'll be covering is the entitlement catalog. Now from here, I'm looking at an, at an identity, Josh Kelly here, and you'll see that we have Josh Kelly's information all across the enterprise. So we have attributes, of course, we pull in, very customizable. You can configure what we show here. You have a collection of the groups, the permissions, is, does he have any accounts in downstream systems, and, and these other tabs here as well. What we also offer is a risk score just to provide further context on the risk that this user uh, has as, as a result of their permissions and, and other things that they may have as a part of the environment. The next feature here is a business role. In this screenshot, I'm creating an accountant business role. And what we can think of an accountant business role or a business role in general is this is like that birthright role or a collection of roles as it relates to a user's 
business function in the organization. So for an accountant, I would create the accountant business role with all things an accountant needs on day one to start doing their job. From here, we can start including or excluding specific members. You can build an expression based on different attributes here, like job code and department. You can include specific users and groups and do the inverse of that as well, exclude users and groups. And of course, when you specify the risk here, that reflects in the catalog like we saw on the previous screen. Now, for the last feature that you can start utilizing is the reporting module. So as a result of being an identity management customer, you may have already deployed the identity reporting module in your environment. When you stand up identity governance, you simply point the module to the new identity governance instance. And from there, you'll be able to pull down some of the pre-built reports that we offer, which are here on the screen. Things like the catalog account details, we have roles details, separation of duties, and collection details as well. These are not all of them. You'll be able to pull them all down from the repository, customize them and slice and dice your user model uh, according to who you want to report on. That way you can provide it to audit and really start to review these users offline via CSV or PDF. Now these are just some of the features that you can start utilizing today. There are many more. If you liked a full blown demo of the solution, please feel free to reach out via my email address here. And if you'd like to learn more, we have documentation links in the description below, as well as a method for you to request a free trial. Thank you for watching.